Ever since I was young, I've been fascinated by all things trains, but most importantly, their destinations and the lives they affect. Join me, Drew Sagona, on a Railhead's Ultimate Bucket List as we follow the tracks to a host of wonderful destinations. From big trains to small trains, from small towns to large cities, hop on board for all the adventures right here on Drewski's Trains and Travels. All right, guys, so we are here today with Ken Silvestri of Broadway Limited to talk a little bit about Paragon Rolling Thunder and some of the new stuff that they have coming out. So, Ken, thank you so much for doing this interview with us today. My really pleasure. really appreciate that. So, tell us, what's been going on in the world of Broadway Limited lately? Let's start with what's new, because okay. people like the product. Absolutely, yeah. So, let's, let's start with probably the most exciting new, new product we have is the Shea. Mm -hmm. And... What you see here is, is a 3D printed of the boil on chassis. And that's a, a process that lets us speed up the tooling. Mm -hmm. You know, this way we don't have to make tooling and go back and adapt it and change it. It's much easier than once we get everything fit and in that way it's off. And this should be out about next spring. And I understand you guys are doing some custom runs with like Hobby Time is doing some custom runs with you guys for a couple of different shades. You know, Will Smith and, and mm -hmm. Train World, Hobby Time, a lot of people do the the special runs. And that's very nice for us. It helps us get our numbers up. Right. And it gives them a, a product that only they have. Right, exactly. Well, I, you know, one of the things that I've always noticed about Broadway Limited in, in looking at you guys' product is not only the detail that y'all put into your models, but the sounds. Can you talk a little bit about the Paragon Rolling Thunder? Because that was the thing for me when I first came across these models. I was just like, wow, this is just a game, like a game changer. Yeah, what we do and how Rolling Thunder works is the sound file resides within the locomotive. And what we can't... Uh, play the bass through the speaker. The speaker's only about that big, which you, you can't move enough air. So what we right. do is we filter out the low frequencies, send them by radio waves to a receiver, which is hardwired to the sub, and it gives you that sound you hear right now. Gotcha. So would, would people at home be able to do the same thing for, exactly. their, for their models? Okay, so the whole purpose is not so you can, if I'm understanding you right, it's not so you can hear it through the speaker of the engine. It's so that you can attach either a subwoofer or another speaker to where you can actually hear the full effect and it, and it makes it sound like a real locomotive in your, your house, you correct? Know, the medium and the, and the higher frequencies all come from the locomotive. Mm -hmm. So that's what your eye will follow. Okay. The, the, the bass sounds are omnidirectional. You really don't know where that's coming from. Right. So it, it blends in and it makes a great illusion. Right. So the whole goal is to make it sound like a real locomotive. Exactly. When I, when I came up here, I was like, this sounds like there's, there's a model that I'm looking at, but it sounds like a real like locomotive that you're standing right next to a real We locomotive. have a differentiation. We don't have it on here, mm -hmm. but you can set the zone that mm -hmm. you want it to be in. Mm -hmm. But shortly, it should, it should start... Mm -hmm. It should start, start, <laughs> come on. <laughs> All right. like, when you want it to work, it doesn't it's work. messing right? with Yeah, me. yeah. I'm but brilliant. you'll hear it as, as we speak. There it comes. There we go, okay. And it fades in. It's not just an all of a sudden an abrupt start. Right. That, that, that's just more pleasing to the ear. Mm -hmm. And that's the things we, we try to think about is, is how do we make the experience better right more right. fun exactly yeah so what kind of other new things do you guys have coming besides in ho one of the most beautiful locomotives anywhere of any time is the sp daylight 4449 i've got it yeah and, and that'll be out probably in about six weeks from now okay um and it's it needs no introduction every everyone knows that and it's, it's just nothing more beautiful. Was that something that you guys got to work with uh, Doyle McCormick and his crew on to get like the accuracies right on that? That I don't know. We have a gentleman, Matt Williamson. Mm -hmm. That's his job. Okay. And he's excellent at it. He's, he has a great eye for detail. Mm -hmm. and That's what he does. He works with all the historical societies, the the people that really know. People come and they'll, they'll talk about their railroad. And they know it down to the Nats butt. Right. But that's one railroad. Right. We do all of them. So we, re we rely on these people, these experts, and we want to make the best model we can. And that's, that runs through 
every model on here and every model we've ever made. Yeah. And our, our customers depend upon that. They, they know that. We have so many road names. Another locomotive, and, and the hybrids. I'd like to speak of the hybrids because yeah. I think the hybrids are just elegant locomotives. And the New Haven I-5 is here, mm -hmm. and it's it's been finished in a, in a brass look to it. Um, but it'll be, it'll be painted. Again, you can see this all on the website. And we do a small number like this, but most of them will be an accurate paint scheme. Right. So this this would be this is meant to be meant to be painted. So this would be like a pilot model per se. Uh, no, no, actually, okay. we'll, we'll sell those because some okay. people like that brass look. And next to it is another another hybrid. I'm sorry, he, over here. Okay. And that's the uh, Q2. Okay. And that's just a beautiful locomotive, and it, it's unusual in that it's a four four six four mm -hmm. you know usually it's even numbered drivers on on each engine and all right and that's a unique sweet locomotive and uh yeah. one For of sure. my favorites yeah yeah <laughs> I, yeah i admit i mean i know a lot of a lot of penzi fans um uh, across the country as well and they that's one of their that's one of the ones that they have to have in their collection is a definitely For, uh, depending on the area that they model well ken thank you so much for doing this for us oh. so guys ken silvestri from broadway limited go check them out online at broadway-limited.com broadway and send them an email. They'd love to talk with you guys. Again, Ken Silvestri, Broadway Limited, guys. Thank you.